What's up guys? It is Fossil TTV back with a brand new YouTube series for you guys. Today we are playing East Shade. This is a first person game, but rather than run around shooting things, we're going to run around and make paintings of things. It's a very chill, relaxed game, so I figured it'll be a good little series. We're going to run this as a series every Sunday until we complete the game. The series will probably run 30 minutes a day. Or 30 minutes an episode, I should say, not a day, because we're only playing once a week. Be sure to click that subscribe button, click that bell to be notified when we post new content, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Let's jump into the game, shall we? Alright, so we're going to walk around. Forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. What was it again? Once more, guys, I am Fossil TTV, and welcome to my channel. Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. Yes, yes, we will go get your book. Let's get over here and get this lady's book for her. Great Voyages, property of Clara S. If found, please return to port of Lindau. A two C four F three A four. I'm curious as to what these numbers mean and if they're going to have any significance in the game. The seas of the north are widely unexplored. Researchers predict these waters are expansive, and small expeditions have revealed numerous islands filled with diverse life and communities. Due to the unpredictable and violent nature of these waters, many exploration ships have been lost while attempting to form new contacts and carry out scientific research. All eyes on the horizon. All right, so we're going to return the book. Thank you very much. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Why, yes. Yes, we are. Ah, after my own heart. I've had a lifetime of it, believe it or not. If you're sticking around in East Shade, Maybe I'll tell you all about it sometime. Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. So they call it Lindo, but it's spelled Lindau. I've never been to East Shed. I've heard wonderful things about it. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? I've heard that since gone out of style. Quite a strange fashion fad if you ask me. As long as Ishe doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. Alright, so what can you it's tell me about Lindo? the little seaside town we'll be landing in. It's one of the many gems of the country, I hear. Oh, that's cool. Okie dokie. Hmm. Almost there. The deer does not talk. Uh-oh. Um. Ooh, that did not sound good. Uh-oh, water. Oh no. Rot row. Well, that was a very short game, guys. We all died in the boat. Did I ever tell you about the trip your father and I took to East Shade? No, tell me again. Out of the, all the trips we took, that one was my favorite. You know, if you've ever looking for painting inspiration. I know, Mom. Tell me you visit it one day. Promise you'll go. I promise. To think of exploring East Shade, it makes me happy. I know you'll find inspiration there. What an adventure you'll have. Listen, there are some places you absolutely mustn't miss. Be sure to paint the giant tree. I remember it like it was yesterday. But how will I know which tree? You won't miss it, trust me. And the Tiffmore Bluffs, ah, oh, the lovely sky country. I can picture you there now, an easel set, and you making a beautiful painting. Those open skies and endless seas would have made any artist move, would move any artist. Okay, I will. And the city, there are magnificent, magnificent buildings in the center. From the very top floor, you can see the whole town and more. You won't be able to resist taking out your brushes. Ah, uh, soon. You'll be there soon. You should get some rest, Mom. So, did we just all die in the shipwreck, I wonder? And this is all just a dream? And so begins East Shade. Okay. 
All right, let's go in here and change the audio a little bit. Actually, it seems okay, I guess. Do you remember what happened? I was traveling on a shift and it collided with the reef. Your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. Uh, did everyone what else I make it? You were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. The others are safe in town. East Where ship, are we? Specifically, my home. I usually don't take visitors, but in this case, I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Did any of my any of my possessions float only in? Only your ether. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. It must mean a great deal to you. I won't forget. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. Thank you for helping On your me. Way, thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna grab our easel and we're going to go ahead and go out this way. Look at the water. Look how beautiful this game is, guys. It is absolutely amazing. Alright, so we're going to head up the path and then I'm going to stop us once we get up the path into the city. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure we're going to need that for something later. Alright, so here we are. We have arrived at Lindo. Alright, this is the city of Lindo. Inspiration. Making painting streams inspiration. Gain inspiration by exploring new places and trying new things. Okie dokie. So let's go over here and check this lady out. Ah, a newcomer. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. Take me to I Nava. I said in the future. I won't take you right now. Why not? You're a newcomer. And you've never been to Nava. Is not so far. And the walk is lovely. Everyone going to Nava for their first time should approach by foot. I won't be the one to cheat you out of an enriching experience. Okay, fair enough. But my ox is strong, no? Okay, her ox is strong. Is this the deer oh, from the dude. ship? Yep, it is. You're on the ship? What happened to you? I washed up in a beach cave. Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. What brought you to Eastshade anyway? I'm here to paint the landscape. That's wonderful. I came to visit my family. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people. But the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Our captain is in a terrible state. I suppose that's to be expected. She won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. You should speak with her. I lost all of my things in the wreck. I lost most of my possessions too. And nothing has washed up. My family lives here in Lindo, so I'll be staying with them. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. You'll be comfortable there. Okay, okay, it cool. It's cold around here at night. <clears throat> you shouldn't be out without a proper coat. All right. Tell me about After Lindo. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. <laughs> right. All right. Are you wondering about anything else? No, nope, take care. Good at flying? Thanks! My dad says that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it! What a creepy little kid. Hey, are you. Hey, you have an easel! Are you an artist? Yes, I am. So am I! Do you want to see what I made? Of course. Look! Guessing this is a well with a bird getting a fish out of the water. It took all day, but I want to make my next one even better. 
You'll want to start what with a I nice canvas. Let's right. make it together. You're a nice artist after all. We need to collect boards and fabric. I know where some boards are. Follow me. All right, let's go. Woohoo! <clears throat> Did you see when it ran a reef? I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. <laughs> what a winch. So it's amazing anyway. There's some boards right there. Now we just need the fabric. I don't know where to find that. Maybe we should ask someone. Let's keep going. All right. So since she doesn't know where to find fabric, we'll go over this way and we'll talk to the captain and see what she has to say for us. Oh, wait. Let's catch this dude. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much, though. I'm just glad you all made it. Me too, homie. Me too. Uh, let's see. It was very lucky. I work on the docks almost every day. If you ever have any questions about Lindau, come on over, and I'll do my best to help. All right. So pick a topic. Tell me about Lindau. Lindau is a nice port town, although we don't have much to export anymore, aside from bloom sacks. Now, most of our tourism these days are just people passing through on the way in or on the way out of Nava. Tell me about fabric. fabric. We go through loads of it. Here, yeah, these lengths are defective for shipping, but will perhaps serve your purposes. Thank you. <clears throat> so we now have enough to make our canvas. So we have everything we need now, right? We can make a canvas from this stuff? Let's get some more fabric here. Looks like some more fabric there, more fabric here, and this must be the captain. So you've survived too. That means only one of us has been lost at sea. Who was lost? Who? Only the most important one of us all, Annabelle! Annabelle? She doesn't sound familiar. Doesn't sound... I see. She carries you across the oceans and you... Don't even learn her name. Oh. Annabelle. My ship. My wooden, sea-loving daughter. <laughs> Killed by the damned reefs when we came into this miserable town. Off with you. Trade your life for hers. Wow, what a winch. It's really a terrible place to be stranded. Ship murdering town. Oh, oh ship. Okay, I must be going. Cause she's annoying. Alright, so let's hop up here. Let's go see what we got up in this little area up here that we didn't go into. Alright, we got some more canvas. More canvas. We got a bear, some wood. And some more canvas, some more wood. And that's all I see. Alright, so let's go over here and talk to this bear. Watch your step there. Lots of moving boxes around here. You looking a little waterlogged. Guessing you just came in off of that ship. I think you even got some seaweed hanging from you. <laughs> Probably do. I'm hey, a wreck. We all have those days, right? I mean, uh, my dad got in a shipwreck once. He wasn't as lucky as you, though. <laughs> Oh no, he's, he's, he's fine. Just lost his leg is all. Now he gets to order us around even more. <laughs> so, you'll probably be exploring all over, right? Would you do me a huge favor? Sure. My brother loves raspberry-filled pastries. Loves them. He can't get enough. But raspberries don't grow here. So, he puts in an overseas order every two weeks. It's crazy, really. Now, the thing he hates is grape-filled pastries. I, I mean, we all hate them, obviously, but he hates them even more. He'd destroy them all if he could, you know? He once saw an old lady eating some, and he grabbed the box and threw it in the ocean. It was the craziest thing. Your brother sounds okay, like a jerk. So what I did was fill his raspberry pastry bag with, uh, <laughs> grape pastries. Can you imagine what he's gonna do when he eats one? <laughs> He'll go insane! <laughs> He's always suspicious of me doing something like this, though, so it would be perfect if you could play along and act like you're a uh, delivery person. So, what do you say? Will you deliver them to him? Sure. Perfect. You gotta play the part, though. Really make him think they're raspberry pastries. <laughs> This'll be great. Here, take these. 
My brother lives over in Nava, so I'll meet you there in a few days, eh? I'll probably be near the bakery. You just come find me and I'll point my brother out to you. Uh, that's a deal, sir. Alright, so we've got another quest for Nava. Alright, we got the canvas for the little girls so we can show her how to make canvas. Um, let's see, what do we want to paint? Maybe the fountain? Hmm. Actually, I like this view right here. This is pretty. Let's get... Actually, let's go up here and look. Actually, like that view a lot. Let's paint this. Alright, so we go... Oops, wrong one. Ah, no. We go tab, not shift tab. We have no canvases, so we gotta go into our inventory over here, make our canvas. Alright, so we made four canvases now. Could you paint something? I wanna watch a real artist. Kinda want that ship in our frame. Yeah, I think I like that frame right there. Let's bring it out so we get all of the pillar. To expand it. So in this game, what we paint is determined by our mouse. We can choose how little or how much we want to paint. And I'm thinking we want to reach the top of the pillars. And I'm thinking I want to cut it off at the pillars like that. I think I like that view. What do you guys think? And then we just push E to paint once we paint it. <clears throat> and there's our painting. Sure, you can have a canvas. Yes! I'm going to use this for Miss Nika's next painting. She loves art so much. And hey, Miss Nika that loves cool. art like us. She always likes my paintings. I bet she'd like yours too. She really likes the eclipse. You should draw her that. Great viewpoint, isn't it? You must be the traveler from the wrecked ship. She's utterly miserable. I tried to convince her to come inside, but she wouldn't leave the dog. Do you live in Lindau? Yes, I run the inn. I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary travelers. When I was young, I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. Look, the eclipse is starting. Okay, so this is Nika. And this is the eclipse. So we've got to figure out what time of day this happens again and try to get a painting of it. Of course, we don't have a quest for it, so I don't know if she would actually take it or not. Not a bad show, right? I try to come up here every day. I guess it just doesn't get old for me. Anyway, if you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. I thank you. <laughs> Don't worry about payment. Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. <laughs> thank Take you. Take care now. Alright, so we know the eclipse happens every day, so now we just got to try to catch it and see if she's got a quest for us. Alright, so we've done that. We've got to go to Nava. And the girl said to go to Nava we had to pay a toll. You're not a bird, This Lenny. kid again. You need to come down right now. You're going to get hurt. Everybody, turn around. What? Why? If you don't all turn right now, I'm going to jump. Okay, okay. Everyone turn around. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it's time to come down now. I flew. 
I feel I so adventurous it. staying I here will. in Mendo. Of course you did. I live in Narva, but down. sometimes I just long Don't for the primitive again, lifestyle Lindo offers. Okay. Now that I know Lindo I'm seems well established to me. How humorous you are! I like that in a person. Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy paths, the unbearable heat. I even had to eat outside. Overall, <laughs> it was a dreadful experience, but I braved through it all. That sounds quite yes, it trip. certainly was impressive on my part. I so dearly wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. Your friends probably think you're a douchebag. I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. Did I ever tell you about my journey to Lindo? Yes, you did. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sure you have the saga thoroughly memorized. Say, you do some sort of art things, don't you? Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. I'm um, sure. What stunning taste you have. Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's see, we want to get as much of him in it as we can. A little bit of her shoe is going to bug me, but I can't get it out. Okay, good. It didn't get it in there. Perfect. Oh my. That painting. It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I simply must have it. Sure, you can have this it. I have no use for it. My friends will be so jealous of me. I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this. Can you imagine? An entire <laughs> wall filled with paintings. He's pompous, but he had 25 glowstones, so I'm happy. Alright, so we've completed his. Thanks again for the canvas. She's complete. This is the end. Who is this? I was there busy working this time. When I was a boy, merchants came to Lindau with strange spices and soft fabrics. We haven't been back in a long time, though. We mainly get shipments of teas, grains of fabrics, and headwear of the latest fashion, of course. <laughs> In any case, there's always lots of work to do around here. Okay. Lindau is a nice port town, although we don't have much to export anymore. Okay, so this is the dock worker. Okay, we've already talked to him. I'm assuming that's the inn. <laughs> that kid's annoying. Who's there? Nika? Is that you? No. You must be one of the tourists. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Glad you're okay. Yada, yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? I need help. Why is there a jug on your head, homie? It's stuck, obviously. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? Dude's kind of rude. It, uh, it, it happens. It's fairly normal, really. Doesn't it happen to you from time to time? No. Brilliant. So now we gotta yes. go find Nika. Nika is not in the inn. Oh, there she is. Ah, the traveling artist. Uh, let's talk about Nava. I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. Okay, so we're getting that Nava's a bigger city than Lindo. It's a bit more calm than Nava. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. Okay. So let's go ahead and go... Oh, of course Ishan needs you. And what is it this time? 
He has his head stuck in a jar again. again. That's like the eighth time. <laughs> All right, then we better go help. Sounds like dude's a real winner, huh? Give me some space. Bro, you rude. You about to get smacked. I'll just wait here. Yeah. All right, so we're waiting on her to catch up, guys. Oh, that's really stuck, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty stuck. I think what we need here is some soap. Would you be a to fetch some soap from a means house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Okay, let's go get the soap. Hello there. Can I help you, traveler? Soap? Well, certainly. May I ask why? It's too weird for words. Uh, hmm. You shouldn't use soap for that. It's not safe. Anyway, I'll ask no more. Here. And no need to return it. <laughs> Is he a friend of yours? Who? He's just such a peculiar man. And you know what? I think Lenny is going to have some real issues when he grows up. Why is that? Well, you've seen him. The boy is unhinged. And not just that. I've been hearing a lot of yelling coming from that house. I think it's quite a broken home. Ah. You know, I imagine you'll be traveling all around this island, being a tourist and all. Perhaps when you get to Nova, you should let the sheriff know about Isan. I think it's only right, you know, for Lenny. You sound like you're nosy. I'll consider it. I think it'd be best for the child. I only have his best interest at heart. Isan is not a stable man, and wholly unsuitable to be a parent. That's not Here, your choice. This will help you with the toll. Right. But I'll take the We're fifteen. Safe travels. All right, so we got 15 just for listening to her try to convince us that we should take this kid from his father. You have the soap. Well, let's try it. Here's the soap. Then. Here, let me have that soap. Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Thanks for getting Nika. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Yeah, Please he's a jerk. Watch. I mean, that nosy, stuck-up, goody, two talon uh, If you had to deal with what I have to deal with, she just doesn't like me because I'm not posh like her. This whole town is stuck up. Them and all their judging eyes. Ah. Uh. You know what? Get out of my house. You're just like everyone else in this town. Coming in here and telling me I'm a bad father? Get out! I know that's what you meant. Just get out. Stooge rude. Get out! Yeah, as rude as he is, I don't know how I feel right now. I don't know if we should turn him in or not. Alright, so we're going to start our journey to Nava. Which I'm assuming is this way. In this world just freaking amazing guys I absolutely love how beautiful this game is look at that that's the bridge that we've got to go over and that's the bridge we got to pay the toll on <clears throat> well I mean, a newcomer are you trying to get across the bridge I guess I hope you've got the glowstones for it it's not free you know the rule is you pay once and you can use it as much as you'd like. Okay, what do you oh, do mate? here? I'm a fisher. I catch fish, I cook fish, I sell fish. You know. And okay. Mostly what I do here is fish. Sometimes I like to visit town, but not very often. What's all that you're carrying? 
Looks heavy. Are you some kind of painter? Well, yes, yes, I am. Mm, you know what? Maybe there's a way you can get the glowstones out of me after all. I fancy that painting you made from the gazebo behind the inn. Real pretty indeed. Maybe you're willing to sell it. Sure. Well, how about that? Got myself something fancy. Damn fish unfighting today. All right, so we get 25 glowstones for that. See you around. So he has nothing left. Um, let's go back this way one more time. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Found a quest. Hi right, guys, so I found another quest that we missed initially, so we're gonna go ahead and knock this quest out as well. There's nothing like a good book on a day such as this. Actually, books are the perfect way to spend any day. Do you enjoy reading? Uh, I do. I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps I can share my favorite books with you sometime. Delightful. My favorite books are the ones that inspire me to write myself. How about you? I'm not much of a writer. I see. We created. You a writer. You a painter. We've got to stay inspired. Best way I've found is to drink many, many cups of tea. Always gives me a boost. Okay, that's good to know. Right. If you find any feathers around here, I'm happy to buy them. I'm constantly losing my quills. I figure three should do it. All right, so we need but to go find this dude feathers, one. even though he's an owl and has feathers of his own. Fabulously dramatic is about to happen. Is there something else? Ah, uh, let's talk about Lindo. Lindo used to be right on the river until a mudslide destroyed most of the town. After that, the townspeople relocated to the coast. All right, Nava. Many of the folk from Old Lindau moved there after the mudslide. The library there is of a historic note. Is there All right, else? so let's go find this dude some feathers. I've noticed the feathers just lay on the ground because I picked up one outside of the um, Lindau. Here's one here, so we now have two. Basically, we just have to wander around till we find a third feather. There we go. Alright, so to find this dude... Aha, my fellow bookworm. Let's give him his feathers. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully this is he gave us 10 glowstones for that, so that's awesome. For these. If you find any more, I'll pay you one glowstone piece. Is there something else? Alright, so we will say farewell. Alright guys, to find this guy so you can do this quest, is you just walk along this path here, which I'm assuming is the path that we're supposed to take back from the fisherman to get to the uh, gazebo to paint it because this literally leads you up to the pathway of the gazebo. So once you come off the gazebo path, instead of going out the path we initially came to go to the bridge, you go up this way. And as you can see, he's right here in our walkway. All right, let's go ahead and save. Actually, let's get back to our bridge and then we'll save because that's where we stopped. I'm pretty sure we've knocked out all of the quests now in this area. All right, so we will save here and this is where we will pick up next time. Appreciate you guys, have a great day.